All right, so we're out on this Maytag dryer. Complaint is that the dryer would either uh, uh, run with the door open, light wouldn't come on, or currently if the light is staying on, even if you shut the door, it won't turn on. So switch, okay, it's broken off. So in order to replace that switch, we have to access inside. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lint screen. With that removed, it exposes two number two Phillips screws. Set those to the side. With those out, we can access the other hidden tabs, compress them with a putty knife. Then it lifts up, and then we have access to our connection here for our door switch. What I do is I don't disconnect it yet in case I were to drop it after I unscrew it and unmount it. It won't go anywhere, and I don't have to take the dryer apart all the way. So with this access here, underneath that hold the two hold the door switch in place are two number two Phillips screws. Those out and go ahead and pull our switch, and we can see that the arm is broken off. So we'll go ahead and disconnect the switch now. We have our new switch, plug it in first. That way, if we drop it, it holds it for us. And we want to be careful when we insert this in, there's a small hole where it's going to go through and stick through so the door can hit it. We want to make sure we don't force it, don't break the switch. There's our plastic. We have our two Phillips screws. Now you're going into plastic, so you don't want to over tighten. Around our wires, make sure they're out of the way, they're not going to come in contact with the drum. And we can verify the switch works by pressing it in. Shut the door, close the top. Push it down over the tabs. Then we'll come back up to the top, install the two Phillips screws that we removed earlier. Grab our lint screen, put that back in. Now we'll turn the dryer on. Verify the switch works. And we're back in business. 